Hey everybody, it's Pluton and welcome back to the Settlers Rise of an Empire. And now it's time to go to uh, at level 6, Rekia, I hope that's the way to pronounce it. Again in Narland, which is probably my favourite area of the game. And I think this level specifically is probably my favourite le uh, my favourite level. Your Majesty, I am pleased to be in your court. Let me tell you, as only a Narlandir can, of the perils of my homeland. The villagers in this region always struggle to survive because of the long, hard winters in this area. And this is the worst winter in years. If we can help these villagers and make them our allies, it will be easier to convince the other Narlandirs of our good intentions. We should build up a settlement here and prepare enough goods to survive the winter and supply the villages. We fight not only against our enemies, but against the minions of the frozen north. So let's go. Taking Thordal. Great name, great character, just overall pretty cool. But yes, this is an interesting level, but it's probably my favorite. And... Thought I was probably second best character in the game, so... He's pretty cool. Look at him. He's got a beard and everything. <laughs> That's the thing I'm pointing it out. It is really cold here. We should build our settlement. The work will keep us warm. We should get into contact with the other villages and find out how to help them. Yes, so the thing is... If we go to the calendar, it's just always winter. So, uh, we're gonna need to definitely work out, uh, food, basically, because, uh, we're a bit low on options. Uh, but luckily for us, we've got some gain down here that we can get. Let me just do that. And let's hunt those. I'm tempted to get them, these trees down here, but I also don't want to disturb the animals. So I'm gonna branch out a little bit more. I'm also going to speed up the game now. Collect some stone. Collect some wood from over here. And okay, we should be set up. I also want this uh, battalion of soldiers to be on top of Thordal for the moment. Thordal's special ability, well, his first one at least, I don't know if there's a second one, is that he can provide entertainment for nearby settlers. We're running up the battlements, we're burning down the settlements, we're fighting close our enemies, we're knocking down the masonry, let's struggle, fight and fray, to our foes' dismay, a bloody-minded day. And I, had, I think he has a few songs that he can actually sing as well, so... But yeah, I think it's really cool as a character trait. So. Ah, uh, but let's, uh, let's get some food. Because that's probably a good, good starting point. Unfortunately, because we have soldiers, it means that we have to pay taxes, so. The worst kind of thing, you know? Ah, uh, but anyway, let me get me, let's, uh, let me get some stuff under control quickly. Because I'm not paying that much attention as I'm, I should be at the moment. And I guess I need to get some clothes as well, unfortunately. Let's go find some villagers, actually, now. So let's head up this way. On your orders. We also want to claim some more er uh, territory so we can get some more food and all that. Uh, so let me claim this area. At once. Uh, I believe there's as some more stone over here wish. as well. We also need to find some iron eventually. Uh, oh, fish also, but also it's under the ice at the moment, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but more gain here as well, but let's go to this village over here. Orders, we claim the territory as you command. Ah, help! Thank grandmother, someone is coming to help us in this hard winter. Winter came early and we didn't have enough grain to put away. Some villagers went to Saidia to get grain, but they have not returned. We think they got into trouble on their way back. Normally they would have returned by the North Road. Could you travel north and find out what happened to our grain delivery? Sure, so we have to go north now. Also, it shows that this territory over here is also claimed by them, so... That's a big territory, considering. 
But it's really just a small map, so. And there's no real danger in this level except for doing things in the wrong order, basically. And wasting resources that you need. I. Oh no. The wolves have returned. And our grain is still in the hut. Can you retrieve it for us? We are on our way. Let's take out these wolves. Very nice. And now let's get the stuff from the old hut. As you command. You found our grain. The wolves must have scared the cowards back to Sadir. If only our warriors were here. As you come Normally, on. the village across the stream gives us food, but this year, they have little even for themselves. Yes, Can you liege. lend a hand and make some bread for us? As you wish. So yes, the, we need to make some bread, but we need to not have our settlers eat it, so we're going to need to stop them from doing that. But also, I still need to produce a the bread as well. Bearing resources. Uh, bread. Right, let's do that. Let me slow it down so I don't accidentally do anything I'm, I'm going to regret. Yellow. And now that should be good. Cool. And now for the most important part of this level. Yes, my liege. Life is hard in the frozen north. Winter came early this year. And now our ships can't return home with supplies. As to make things even up. worse, a thunderstorm scared our sheep away. We really need a helping hand. Find the sheep and they will return to the pastures. You have a nice looking horse. This should be easy for you. Now the greatest quote of all time. But of course. Look, sheep, there must be more nearby. Yes, my liege. Look, sheep, there must be more nearby. As your house is full. Look, sheep, there must be more nearby. It's just so, it's such a great quote. Uh, but anyway, I believe we need to As find ten sheep. Up. Sheep, there must be more nearby. I think we need to find ten As sheep or something like that. Up. But there are more than ten sheep, I believe, so... We just need to find enough and it'll be fine. Ah, uh, you're really far away from that, though. Look, but you're gonna complain sheep, to me. There must be more nearby. Apparently there's some sheep up there. Three. We need to acquire ten, so... Please? Applause is nice, but a title is the best recognition. They always, they always Our complain. House is full. Speaking of complaining, it's fine. My new title deserves an epic saga. You're right. My victory is close at hand. I'll conquer village, town, and land. Against my foes, with all my friends, we vanquished them in a last stand. A sword we cross, we mourn, no loss, we hold the hammered Viking band. And who will dare to fight with me, through war and blood, to victory? Relieved of... It's, 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 it's really good. This game's got some really good stuff in it. Anyway, I need to make some more broom makers. Uh, and also find the rest of the sheep. We are on because there are way. still more to look for. I'm just put in five broom makers, obviously, because I need more and more and more and more broom makers all the time. For the rest of time. I also need to get iron, so I should probably not do the sword stuff first. I am in trouble. I need to get more food. So let's build a road out this way. Get some more gain. Gain some gain. Build another sausage butcher shop. You know what I mean. Uh, but anyway, let's find some more sheep if I can. I believe there's some ruins up here. I know the storehouse is full, yes, my liege. but up here are some ruins to give me some more money, so 250 gold, that's actually really good, that's going to help As me upgrade my wish. storehouse. More sheep. We are on our way. Look, sheep, there must be more nearby. I. Just a lot of graves. 
Yes, my liege. Look, sheep! There must be more nearby. Look, sheep! There must be more nearby. I can't interrupt the As sheep. You wish. Oh, our sheep are back on their pastures. Now we can sell some of them to you if you need them. Normally we exchange goods with the other village for clothes, but this year we can't even produce enough goods for ourselves. Real Narlin deers don't feel the cold, but some of us would be happy to get some warm woolen clothes nevertheless. Our storehouse is full. I'm really having a trouble with this at the moment, but that might be because I'm not making my broom makers work as much as I should. We also, you can't upgrade territory. a building when they're on strike. I don't think I've mentioned that, but you have to up you have to make sure that they're happy before you can upgrade the thing for them. Unfortunately, so you really need to balance things out. Uh, let's send that bread. A cart has been dispatched. They actually send somebody from the storehouse to go pick up the bread and then go back to the storehouse and then go, I believe. Is the way that that works. Uh, but we still have some more grain, so I can actually unban bread for a bit so I can actually get some more stuff going. Uh, let me upgrade the cathedral because we're going to need that shortly, very shortly. <laughs> Now, do we have sheep? I don't think so. I think we're getting close. I shall serve you with a song in my heart. Can't do that yet. Can't do that because it's middle of winter. Where are you going? Thank you for the food. You seem to have adapted to our harsh climate very well. Cool. <laughs> cool. You know? Cool. Uh, uh, let me just build a road there. I think, now that we've got all the sheep for them, we can actually buy sheep from them. So I'm going to buy two flocks of sheep. Hopefully I can actually work As that out well. Need to make sure I have places for the sheep to go. Before they just arrive and go to the town center. Hopefully this will make it efficient-ish. Uh, I also need to probably upgrade some more stuff. A sheep farmer has no sheep. I know, it's quite sad. He's probably not looking for them, though. He's probably just, uh... Acting. Just pretending to be a farmer. Uh, but anyway... We still are struggling for food. It might be because I'm not balancing things out at the moment. Uh, I really need these sheep to arrive so I can get some stuff done. Because I need the woolen clothes and that'll make it less stress on the tanneries. Um, all the things I'm trying to keep up with. I might build three weavers. I, I think that might be too much, but I don't really know what is enough at this point, so. I also need to make sure that I have enough to send to the other village. The green village, which I always think of as brown for some reason, but it, it's definitely green. Like a dark green, so. But I, I always think of it as brown. I don't understand why. Ah, uh, but anyway. I might also More throw a festival. Get married after a festival. I know how to entertain. So yes, we get more spouses after a festival because we've also got Thordown. So that's his second ability. So yeah, I thought I was pretty pretty good, so. Um, I need mead, but I it's always winter, so I can't do that. Uh, we really need to get the sheep farms working, because that's the thing that we really need to focus on at the moment. We got 22 spouses from that. I've, I've been not doing it when I should have done it already, but... It, so, it does make sense that I just got a good amount. But anyway, I'm also going to send my soldiers over there for no specific reason that I'm not going to reveal. It's fine. I'm also going to build a road there, if I can't get those fish. I don't think I need any more stone for the rest of this game. Can upgrade those. I don't think I can upgrade the castle anymore. Uh, but I'm also going to start making some weapons. Even though there's nothing... The stone quarry will soon be depleted. Okay, cool. Thank you for letting me know. 
Uh, even though there's no enemies on this map, I still need to have weapons for soldiers and all that. As strange as that may be. Oh, I'm out of wood. I don't know how that happened. I guess these buildings do take up a lot, though, so... Gonna mark the thing over here if I can, please. Oh, that's the wrong building. Gonna mark out where I want my armor to go over there. For obvious reasons, I... I unspoken. Um... I am not... No iron. Okay, let's upgrade that again. It might even be worth doing a second one, but I don't think that is the case. It's almost worth it, but not quite. Also, how are we doing on woolen clothes? We can check on this tab here. We have 20. Okay, let's send 18. Has been then we should be good. Why are you still here? Okay, there we go. Gonna do that. I think we are underway now. Especially the with the... Stone quarry has been depleted. Especially with the iron mine actually doing stuff now. A stone cutter can't find any stone. That's a shame. Let's get rid of him. <laughs> Again, not looking. Ah, my friend. The claws you sent are appreciated. There are huge black bears living in a cave west of here. These wild beasts have awoken from their winter's sleep hungry. And now are a threat to our village. There is a fire pit near the cave. If you set a fire there, you can smoke out the bears. Okay, so that's our goal. So I think the city's balancing out now that I have wool. A little bit of wool, that is. It's not working terribly efficiently. Ah, oh, but that's okay. I think we're also good on iron now, because it's actually flowing in at a balanced rate. Oh, but anyway, now let's light the fire over here. A cart has been dispatched. Gotta move you back down once. this way. You bet. Our city is looking good. But we can't increase the city's anything at the moment because of winter. I think that is all maxed out. The yep. fire is burning. This will drive the beasts out of their cave. Beware, they will be angry. Oh, there they are. The wild beasts are out of their cave. Will you be able to slay them and protect our village? Probably. Um, I I, I want to wait for another bowman. Like, but how much do I have? I have 35. I don't really need a big army, so... Let's just select all this. But of course. Let's go take out these bears. Forward! It's one. Also, whenever something dies, it has like a, a ghost leave its body, basically. You have vanquished the bears! See? They had honeycombs in their cave. We'll deliver them to your storehouse. They will make a fine mead. Finally, the winter ends, and the ice is melting. Our dragon boats will return soon, filled with warriors and supplies. Our Viking brothers will be thirsty when they return. We'll need mead. Lots of mead. Well, I can do something about that. You have done well by our villages, but what about some mead to celebrate this hard winter's end? A cart has arrived, bearing resources. Ah, uh, now, what do I want to do for the rest of this? Guess I'll just build out this way. Don't really need those trees. Let's build some taverns. Probably, I could do many, many taverns for this. Just because I'm producing so much honey right now. Well, I am going to be producing a lot of honey right now. Also, building beehives just adds up. We could also do some grain farms, but I don't think that's worth it, even though I have a grain- like a- I have a bakery. But I don't think it's worth it at this point, since the- This is the last thing in the level, so... I'm- I'm going against what I just said, and I'm doing it anyway. Also, it can still be winter, but... Yeah, I just timed that really badly. <laughs> That was terrible timing. That's going to delay the end of the level by a lot. Unless I ban the usage of mead. So that I can store that up a little bit faster. I have seven mead. And no honey, I don't think. Oh no, I do have honey. I can. Okay, cool. We should be good then. Just need to wait. It's unfortunate timing though. That's very unfortunate timing. It's fine. Also, I'm out of wood now. It's fine. I don't know how I'm running out of wood. 
I'm just burning through it faster than the game can bring it back up. Also, we don't need this army anymore, Hi. but we can't get rid of them, so... <laughs> Well, so I'm just going to promote you. Title deserves an Send that off. Saga. And there we go. That's the end of this level. It's a very, a very easy level. Very easy. As long as you don't lose balance with your food. It just works, so. There it goes. Oh, we're running out of entertainment. Quick, do something. I can sing to entertain the settlers nearby. My victory is close at hand. You're right. Village, town and land. Well, there we go. <laughs> cool. I'm glad that this worked out as well as it, as it did. I'm no, no mind. I'm out of wood, but it's fine. It's the end. With your help, we've overcome one of the hardest winters ever. Let us celebrate our good fortune. You have shown kindness and bravery worthy of an Arlindia. We shall remember you. It is my pleasure. My liege seeks to help settlers regardless of how cold their winters are. Indeed. And that's the end of that level. And that is, uh... It for Narland for the moment. We're going to Geth now. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.